I'm Dan. I uh, play guitar and sing. I'm Connor. I play bass. I'm Jeff. I drum. I'm Mike, and I play the guitar. Oh, yeah. We're called Peace. Peace. <laughs> Basically, Dan and I were just drinking at this sort of rundown bar in Vancouver, and we met two people, um, two kind of weirdos. And one of them was a, a fast-talking guy who liked Henry Miller, and the other was this native guy who the fast-talking guy referred to as a genius. And, and basically, as we left the bar, the, the genius, who had not said a word the whole time, just held up two fingers like this to us, and he said, peace. And we kind of like awkwardly pieced him back, and, and he's like, that's the name of your band. And so we, we walked outside, and we were like, well, we're not sure if we like it, but the genius told us, so I think we'll have to go with it. It was too perfect to pass up. Yeah. It's like the greenest, most beautiful city ever. Like you can see eagles flying and occasionally whales like will swim into the harbor. But then where all the music takes place is on East Hastings, which is like one of the worst stretches of urban poverty at least in Canada, if not America. Um, and you just see sort of like junkies like shooting up on the street. Are there, like in front of our jam space, people used to just smoke crack. Um, but they were very nice to us. They, they seemed to respect the bands. We like New Sensei a lot, and we just did a, a bit of a West Coast tour with them. Um, they're a lot of fun. Uh, White Lung as well, um, good friends with. Those bands tend to, to make us look a bit wussier. I didn't feel like we were uh, a haunted sounding band until we left the Pacific Northwest and I started reading reviews from other places. I thought it sounded pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, we yeah. thought we were making like happy, like fun rock. <laughs> <laughs> There's very few lyrics on many of the songs on our record. Uh, we made a record, our first record, every song was like a long poem kind of, and these ones I guess they're all more kind of mantra-like. Yeah, I think uh, minimalism and repetition is an effective songwriting um, tool, I guess. And it's not, it's not something that comes up as often as it might in the kind of music we're involved with. Um, I mean, yeah, but like post-punk in general is kind of, you know, short and punchy and fairly structured. So, yeah, we just kind of wanted to experiment with repetition a bit, see, see what we could do with it. If, if you play this, the songs too many times over and over again, you start to space out as you're playing them. And so you're thinking about, like, which groceries you have to buy the next day <laughs> and realize there's a chorus coming up and kind of freak out. Start the list over again in your head the next verse. <laughs> <laughs>